Hey everyone, this is Mark from Ice Ice Hedge Fund and welcome to a post Euros game. I'm uh, going to play through the deck that I brought over. Uh, it's pretty much a as Val. Some interesting bits and pieces to it. Uh, not really teched against CI aside from Employee Strike and Turning Wheel, which has done work as we saw at Euros. Um, but I figured it's a good way to get back into the swing of things post Euros. We're going to keep our opening hand because it has some draw, some money, uh, just some good bits and pieces. The main kind of interesting tech in this deck is Lamb, so it will help us against Mythic Ice and big multi-sub things as well. Also, if we need to put on the pressure really early, we will be able to. So if I similar lines, presumably got... Mm, oh, they're going straight into server one. Okay, so we're going to just gamble. We will inject. Play Strike arrives, but we're not quite sure what this is. So I think we just take an access on R&D. And we can get the Earthrise down as well. We get an efficiency committee right off the bat, so that is very good news for us. Possibly looking at the deck that finished second then, with uh, kind of mad combos and all that kind of good stuff. It also means we might be able to get the employee strike down early and force them into rushing when they don't want to, keep them poor, that kind of thing. So Euros. Um... Didn't go as well as I hoped. I ended up 127th. Valencia did well. She went 5, 1 draw, and then lost 2 to kind of rush Titan. Scorpios, however, very much let me down. Um, let's go you. Let's go... Let's expose this just to see. Enigma. Okay. Let's run R&D. Estelle Moon. Yeah, let's get that, rid of that. And it's gain three. And we'll just take a credit. Even though we could run R&D again. So yeah, Val went really, really well. Uh, managed to beat two CTMs. Uh, one Asmari and drew with an Asmari. And then one Titan as well. But lost two really fast Titans. Uh, it was an interesting day though. There was a lot of games that was one turn away from either winning or losing. Um, I drew throughout the day. So first round was against Alex White, top 16, Worlds and eventual top 50 in Euros. I ended up playing Mike Sheehan, uh, Euros 2017 champion and good friend. And there was a couple of other really strong players in there as well. So, you know, it was a, it was a tough day out, we'll say. Um, let's run R&D here. We'll try it for the minor accident. Hopefully get the bad pub, so we can trash over here. So, taking a bad pub. Let's check out one of these servers to try and get some trash for free. A Jeeves. Ugh. Well, we have to trash it. Um, we could go server 2, or we can just pop this. I think this is okay. Um, so yeah, a lot of strong competitors. Some really good games. And a lot of splits. My last game was against Jono, who was a nice relaxed game, even though he'd been quite stressed with what had happened throughout the day. And yeah, trying to do both of these things at once is difficult. Thankfully, I didn't have to commentate half as much during Euros itself. So if I can get the two sides working at once, I'll be quite the competitor. But for the moment, a little disappointed. Um, I think we credit run minor accident employee strike here. On R&D. Vanilla, that's fine. It's a mining accident again. I assume that'll just take the bad pop. Yep. Credit. And deploy strike. Now, unfortunately, we're on zero credits. That's not where you want to be. But again, we're forcing them into a rush faster than they would like. And the Jeeves is important to take out so that they can't get the Vitruvius counter which allows for even more weird and wacky combos. So Scorpios, even though it was going well online and I'm not too bothered by Employee Strike, it seemed to just give up accesses on R&D. Um, there was a lot of times when I didn't have Hunter Seeker and they would just run, get an agenda, run again, get another agenda. Um, and that makes it very difficult to come back from. Ooh, are we going to see this? Is it going to happen? In which case, this is going to be a very fast recap of Euros. 
But yeah, Scorpios uh, ended up whiffing quite a lot. And towards the end of the day, Valencia seemed to just kind of get sick of having to do all the hard lifting herself and gave up the ghost a little bit. Okay, we're going for this. We're not sure what this is, but we don't have the money for aggressively attacking. Um, and this is where not sticking to that two-year plan strategy uh, fails, because it's supposed to be you know, build up your multi-axis, get your credit lead going, and then finish off the game. Whereas we are in a bit of trouble. So let's see. It's credit... I think we just credit up here. As awful as that is. Could force a res. Architect, however, is a terrible hit for us. Team sponsorship. So Rashida comes down. They don't have a lot of money. Like, Enigma has three. So we can start trying to force some reses. Now, the question is, do we draw for economy? I think we inject, hope to hit a money card. What are we looking at? Could hit a dirty laundry. Unfortunately, our spicy tech is in the bin, but we do have black orchestra. So we need six to get through here. Ugh. So we inject into money. Awkward money. Credit, credit, gamble. Oof. Or deuce is wild and draw, maybe. Get rid of the iPad versus. So let's draw two. Gain three. Pop this. Give it a one, two, three. So we got to make a charge very soon. But at least we're a little more financially set up now. Trying to keep up with CI, which is relentlessly fast. But at least if we can try and force the reses somewhere as well, it can make things a lot easier. And as we saw in some games, Turning Wheel is kind of one of the few cards you need against CI. You can do a lot of work with very little. But we may be out of time. There you go. So reconstruction contract. Pop it. And archive memories and everything. So that's how the combo was supposed to work. Unfortunately, it didn't work out quite so well at Euros. There was a slight miscalculation. And understandably so, with so much pressure and so many people watching. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it anyway. And we'll get into some proper non-Euros-based games very, very soon. Thanks.